In today's video, I show you how I do my makeup whenever I'm wearing my glasses. Hi everybody and welcome back to Kathy's Easy Beauty. I am going to do a full face of makeup, but mostly concentrating on my eyes. And I'm showing you tips and tricks that I use whenever I do makeup for whenever I wear my glasses. These are things that I've, I have found that have worked the best for me over the years. I do have a round face and the glasses that I wear um, tend to be rectangular because they are the most flattering. I do wear progressives, which means that the bottom part of the glass is magnified so I can read. And then there is a prescription in the top part of the glass so it's clearer for me whenever I see far away. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start applying my makeup. And as I apply my makeup, I will uh, talk through and share the tips throughout the video. So if you are interested in easy makeup and fashion tips, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So the first thing that I always do is I start with a primer. I just like to put a primer on my face. You have to think of it as you're painting uh, the walls of your house. It just smooths out any um, imperfections and just lets the makeup uh, sit a little more nicely on your skin. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is start with a concealer. All the products are listed below if you want more information. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I have this dual ended brush from It Cosmetics that I like because I use this end to apply concealer and this end to do the foundation. Put a little bit on the nose and then I just start applying wherever I want to hide any dark spots or any redness. And I take my time doing this because you want to heat up the concealer so it melts into your skin. And I also go over my eyelids. I used to use a separate eyelid primer because I had oily eyelids, but now I just use the concealer and everything works well. And I'm just putting a little extra concealer up here because I do wear plastic frames, meaning in here I, uh, I don't have, not rubber, but those nose pads because with my nose shape, I find that uh, the plastic frame fits and feels the best. And I just put a little extra concealer on there because you know you always get the imprints from your nose. And I really haven't found a way that I can get away with uh, the red imprints not showing, but it doesn't matter for me because if I'm awake, my glasses are on, I can't see without them otherwise. So I really don't worry too much about those for my face because nobody can see them if I'm wearing my glasses. So the next thing I'm gonna apply is my foundation. I love a cushion foundation because it's easy to apply. And I love this one by Dior, it, it looks uh, skin-like. And again, I go on the eyelid. I don't put too much on the nose because I have a problem with my glasses sometimes sliding down the nose. I mainly concentrate um, on the cheeks, the chin, the forehead. And you always want to do along the jawline. So that's pretty good. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with another concealer. You can skip this step if you want. I just wanna lighten things up a bit underneath my eyes. Love this concealer, it's by Hourglass. It does not sit in my wrinkles. And then I just go up into the corner of my eye just to bring a little lightness to there. and just sort of fan everything out. 
And again, I'm just concentrating the corner of the eye. And if you want, you could go a little bit up underneath the, the eyebrow. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything with a powder. I'm using this compact today by Cosmetics de Je Ne Sais Quoi, and I'm using it because it's simple and it has the um, Bye Bye Pores powder, which I'm going to use with the It Ball Wand brush. And basically I'm just um, patting it into the skin. I really like this powder because it uh, really does make my pores look like they have disappeared. And again, go over the eye. I want to set that primer. And then real quick, I'm using a dual ended brush by Hourglass and I'm just going to apply the blush. And I, I put it here like on the uh, the round part of my cheek. And then I work my way up. But because I have a round face, I kind of like to go up here a bit. It just elongates the face. So the next thing I'm going to do are my eyebrows. I use the It Cosmetics Brow Power. It's universal, works for everybody. And I will link my video where I show you how I do my eyebrows if you want a little more in-depth information about that. I'm just gonna do these real quick. Uh, you don't really see my eyebrows behind my glasses because my glasses are a little large um, and cover them but I always still do brows. To me, brows are the most important thing if you're going to do anything, uh, do your eyebrows because they frame your face and you can see the difference that it makes just by doing the one eyebrow and that one not being done. And then I just like to brush everything. Okay, so now for the eye makeup. I'm using the Too Faced uh, Natural Matte Palette. I picked it because it's uh, pretty neutral and you may have this palette or some similar palettes that have similar shades. So I'm just taking a flat brush and I'm going to go in with this very neutral color. It's called Nude Goals. And it's just a very, very light pink, I would say. And I'm putting it all over the eyelid and in the crease. And I just want to take my time and pat it in. And you just see how that lightens up my eye. The other eye. So the next thing I'm going to do is my crease. I have small eyes and I have a hard time getting brushes that I guess fit well into them. So this brush that I'm using for my crease is the MAC 217 and I'm going to go in with cleavage. It's the middle one here. It's a little taupey and I just, I start on the outer corner of the eyelid and I just go back and forth. I don't go all the way uh, into the corner of the eye. I just go from here, the outer of the eye to about three quarters of the way over. And I'll just show you. Just put my brush right in the socket and just go back and forth. Or you can just make little swirls. Um, it's entirely up to you, whatever feels comfortable. So as you can see, that just uh, brought a little bit of uh, darkness into the crease and it just adds some uh, depth to the eye. If I look a little different, it's because my camera battery died, so now I'm using my iPhone. So as I was saying, I'm going to do my right eye now. Uh, just in the crease, about three quarters of the way over to the corner, but not fully to the corner. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to go into the darkest color here. And I'm just going to pat it like make a V. You can see I'm going like in the outer corner 
and I'm just kind of making a V. So I went in the crease and then I just went a little bit on the top of the, the lashes. So then I'm gonna go back in with that crease brush and I'm just gonna swirl just the outer corner a little bit, just to blend it in. Now I do it this way because I have small eyes and I also have hooded eyes, which means they're wrinkly and they, uh, like they hang down a bit, they're not tight. So you just see a little bit of color but if my eyelids, um, you know, if I have regular eyelids, you would see more of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that again in the other eye. And again, I'll just try and show you. So I'm right in the crease and I'm doing that V. And then I go down just with the edge of the brush. Just go a little bit on the lash line, just to apply the color. Don't worry about how it looks. And I'm taking that uh, crease brush and just blending it a little bit. But I'm only staying within where the dark color is. I'm not taking it all over um, the eye. So, can you see that? Blend this one a little bit more. So now, I'm going to take a clean brush, just the end of it. And I'm going to go back into that very first color. And I just have it on the tip and I'm just going underneath the, the eyebrow just to highlight it a little bit. And then do this eye. Okay, so now this is where I like to create my smoky look. And I have a few choices uh, I wanted to show you. This is my all time favorite brush to do my smoky eye. It's a Charlotte Tilbury smudger brush. A lot of you have bought it after I've shown it to you. I've talked about it for years. It's a perfect size for my eye and it makes a real nice smoky look. If you don't want it to look as dramatic or smoky as what the look that brush will give me, I also want to suggest the Sigma Smudge Brush E21. It has a much tinier end and you might feel more comfortable using this brush uh, if you're just starting out. Now another brush you could use is this is a Sephora flat liner. It's an eyeliner brush. Uh, it's very, very flat. And to be honest, I don't think I've ever used it, but it's an option for you. If you just want like a, maybe to do eyeliner up here. I usually don't for every day do eyeliner and I don't do any liner on my waterline. I just do what I'm showing you. And then the last brush that I'm going to show you, I don't think it's any longer available. It's by the Kat Von D and it's a light and shade brush. And I liked it because it's a perfect size for my eye for doing the crease, but it also has a nice pointed tip, uh, which is great for doing the, the V and also underneath the eye. You might think this is a bit much, but this is how I like my makeup done. And it looks really great once I put my glasses on, you'll see. So just bear with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking that smudge brush from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to put it into the Risky Biz. But don't like put a lot on your brush because this brush really picks up the color uh, very well and it, it it's better just to take your time and build it. So you, you can see I just like tapped it in there lightly a few times. So now what I'm going to do. So I'm basically just going to go all under here. I'm only doing say three quarters underneath the eye. I don't want to bring it all the way here otherwise it will make my eye look closed. So just Imagine that I'm connecting the color, the dark color that I put in the outer V and I'm just drawing a line underneath my lower lash line because I do not put mascara on my lower lash line. I do not like how it looks on me. So I'm just gently, I'm not pressing hard. I'm just gently going back and forth. To me, that's not dark enough. So I'm just going to build it up and that's what I wanted to show you because it's so easy to do and it's buildable. So again, just gently applying it underneath the, uh, the lash line. So it almost looks like, you know, it's connected. Now I wish that my eye shape was different. Like some people, um, they have like, you know, you can see the color uh, over here on the outside. I can't do that. But just look at the two eyes and just see how smudging that little bit of eyeshadow underneath this eye really makes it pop. 
And that's what I like because when you're wearing glasses, you want to take the attention away from the glasses and I want people to see my beautiful blue eyes. And even using this, these colors, uh, they work really, really well with blue eyes. So let's go and do the other eye. So again, I'm just gently tugging. Like I'm not pulling, I'm just holding the skin up just to show you and gently just sweeping it underneath. And don't worry, I know uh, this one's a little thicker than that one, but I, I can fix that up quite easily. So then again, So what I'm gonna do to fix this eye, cause it's a little thicker, is I'm just gonna dip the end of my Beauty Blender into the foundation and just gently um, go underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna take the tip of the um, dual ended brush, the tip that I used the concealer on, and I'm just cleaning up underneath. I didn't put any more product on, I'm just using what's on there. So now the next thing I'm going to do is my mascara. And as I told you earlier, I only do my top lashes. My favorite mascara is because I have small eyes is the It Superhero and also the It Tight Line because the Tight Line has a smaller brush which works perfect um, for my small eyes and I have sparse eyelashes as well. I always have to be careful, otherwise I end up getting mascara on the upper uh, eyelid. I'll just show you my uh, eye makeup. Very soft, very pretty. And to me, what makes it pop is going underneath the eye. And then I'm just gonna set everything with my new favorite uh, setting spray is by Cosmetics and it's their um, Your Skin But Better setting spray. And to finish off the look, I'm just using uh, It Lip Serum. I love this. This is their original one. It just leaves a nice uh, pink color on the lips. Perfect for spring, perfect for every day. Looks totally different. I just love how that It Je Ne Sais Quoi palette, it really makes my uh, skin uh, glow, especially with that Dior foundation. And I just think that the uh, how I do my smoky eye, it looks really, really nice and it's perfect for every day. And of course, if I wanted it more dramatic, all I would have to do is just use darker color eyeshadows or um, just keep building up with the colors. I'm gonna take these off because I have my contacts on and I just wanted to, um, to read some tips that I had wrote down to share with you. So when you're doing your eye makeup and you're wearing glasses, obviously you need a magnifying mirror. So I like this one, this is my Simple Human. It's regular magnification here. In the bottom, I believe it's 10 times and on this side, it's I think five times. And as it gets close to your face, it lights up. So I highly recommend a good mirror. And then if you have long lashes, which I do not, you might want to curl them. I don't curl my eyelashes. And as I said, I feel that I can get away with a darker smoky eye. And I just think that um, that's what really makes my blue eyes pop. And people always stop me and comment on say how beautiful my eyes are. So with a concealer, you wanna choose a skin tone formula that's one or two shades lighter than your foundation to lighten any darkness. The first concealer that I used was the Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes and this is a neutral medium. And then the Hourglass one I used to lighten it, it is called Silk Vanish. I really like this concealer. It works great under my uh, wrinkly old eyes. So I applied my concealer underneath the eye, up to the lash line, right up to the bottom lash line. And then I did the inner corner of my eye and then along the nose where my glasses will sit. So then I uh, really powdered things well underneath the eye, the eyelid, because remember I used the concealer as a, as a sort of a primer for my eye makeup on the eyelids. And I powdered my nose well because that's where uh, my glasses will sit 
and just to try and prevent any redness, but I'm telling you right now, I haven't found a way yet that uh, can prevent the redness from your glasses sitting on the nose all the day. So you wanna do your brows because they really define your face. Like I showed you, I did a highlighter underneath the brow just to sort of uh, bring light to it and highlight it. So experts will tell you to put a light color on the lid so your eyes don't look heavy. If you have a dark color uh, frames, Mine aren't that dark, they're tortoise, they're brown. I have found, I've had all different colors, uh, glass frames. I stay away from black anymore with glass frames, but also um, eyeliner. It's just, it's too harsh now that I'm getting older. Uh, I like browns, uh, taupes, or navy blue. I find compliment my blue eyes the best. Uh, I've kind of gotten away from like eyeliner pencils. I'll occasionally use them, but I prefer to go use like an eyeshadow. It just it gives a softer look. And uh, you can also put a white eyeliner on the lower line. I used to do that, kind of gotten away from doing that because I really don't go anywhere uh, these days. And I showed you how to do a sm dark smoky look underneath the bottom lash line. And to me, that's, that's the thing that ties my whole eye look all together. And then I always do two coats of mascara on the top lashes. I told you I don't wear it on my bottom lashes. I just don't like how it looks. And then remember to set your look with a good setting spray. I like this one and I also like the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I hope that you have found my uh, tips and tricks for doing your eye makeup when you wear glasses to be helpful. Um, please let me know in the comments if you found it helpful and if you have any tips to share with us. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, it would really mean the world to me if you did. I share a lot of easy makeup tips and I have a lot of spring fashion videos in the works coming up. And if you want to see more uh, makeup tips for hooded eyes or wearing glasses, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.